here are in Pro Tools, and we're listening to some sound effects that we recorded from Snapchat in this case. Uh, we recorded them with our Zoom H6. So let's just listen to this real quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So a good sound effect overall, but the problem is if you listen, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. some background noise in there, some room tone. Now we do have this boosted right now by 9 dB. If I just hold Alt and click that and go back to zero, play. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not really noticeable. However, because this is a sound effect, I want this to be as clean as possible. So let's go ahead and clean it up real quick using RX Spectral Denoise from Isotope. We could also try vocal uh, denoise or voice denoise. That should work uh, just as well. But let's use Spectral Denoise. This, by the way, is a great plugin included with the RX package. And you should definitely check out the music production suite, which this is included in. It is a little bit expensive, but it's definitely one of my... Uh, uh, most recommended bundles to buy for any music producer, any editor, uh, period. It's, it's that good. It, it contains so many things that you will need to make your music and your sound effects, whatever you're working on, your dialogue, uh, to sound the best it can. So go check uh, that out. So here is Spectral Denoise. We already have it pulled up. Right now it's on bypass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What I want to do is get rid of that background noise without affecting the actual sound effect, the uh, vibration and the beep, the notification sound. So this is uh, from the same uh, sound effect. And right here is just background noise. So I'm just gonna select that. We can hear that here. Hopefully you can hear that. You hear that? Again, I wanna clean this up so I can use this sound effect anywhere. Because if I have all this background noise, you know, there's a possibility that it's not gonna mesh with whatever I lay this in on. So let's go ahead and turn spectral denoise on. Now, right now we're using the the uh, plug-in version instead of the audio suite version. We'll get to that in just a minute. So let's go ahead and play back now. So we've already pretty much reduced it. Now we have our threshold. That's obviously not enough. That's obviously not enough. So we can go in here and start to adjust the threshold and then the actual reduction. And you're kind of done already. And we can change our artifact control. It's more gating or musical noise. You have smoothing, which we're not going to get into. This is just a nice quick video. And we have a quality because we're using the sort of live version. We can only have the A or the fast in the audio suite version. You'll have access uh, to more uh, settings. We can also go to advanced settings here and you can change stuff around in here. Again, I'm not really going to get into this. This is just a quick video to show you how quick and easy this is using spectral denoise to denoise your sound effects. So let's output the noise only. So that's what we're going to be cutting out. You can come in here and adjust things. But what I really want to use here is learn because this is a constant uh, room tone. So let's just hit learn and I'll play back. Make sure it learns that noise floor. That looks good to me. Then we'll just stop playback. There we go. Now we're set up. We can check output noise again. Sounds good. Change our artifact control. Turn on smoothing if we want. And adjust things with just that noise only. Very good. Let's go to our, the clip we actually want to apply this to. Not good. Well, it's good, but it's not perfect. If you listen to right when that transient hits, it's letting that noise through. So in this case, what I want to do is come down here to artifact control. I want to turn this gating down here. Now try it. Almost perfect. A little more. Just my threshold. Oh yeah. Take reduction down. Not good. Let's pull it back up. This is a push and pull process of not, let's hear noise only. So that's what we're pulling out. You know, this is a push and pull process of making sure we're not destroying this, the sound we actually want while we're pulling out all of that background noise or whatever else uh, you might, you might have there. So we're, guess what? We're done. Beautiful, beautiful, clean, sounds good, because sometimes your sound effects might go under some compression, limiting. If we, if we did compression on this, it's going to raise all that noise, and it's going to come right through, and it's not going to sound good. We want to produce clean things here in Pro Tools. You always want to produce something clean, at least in most cases. You want something very clean that's usable all over the place whenever you're making your sound effects. Okay, so that's about it. Let's take a real quick look here. I just want to go over this just so you can see what is included uh, and here are some of the controls that you can do. Learn, we already did learn. There is an adaptive mode we'll look at very quickly. We're not actually going to use it, but I'll look at it real quick. Learning time, our threshold reduction, and then the quality settings, which we only have the A in this case. Then our artifact control, 
all kinds of tools here that you can go through. And to get to that PDF, just click the question mark icon, it will open right up. You can understand and learn everything that spectral denoise does. All right, but maybe let's bypass this for now. Close it, and I can open up the audio suite version of that as well for offline processing and spectral denoise. Open this up, and here we are. Now you can see we have this adaptive mode. We can adjust things a little bit differently, and as I said, we have the quality slider now. We can really tune that up. Advanced settings, you can see our algorithm is now on extreme there. Definitely check out these advanced settings. Get all your settings correct, and then render that file out. That's how the uh, audio suite version works. But for us, as we already saw, this more live version works just fine. Awesome. So that was a real quick denoise of a sound effect using RX Spectral Denoise from Isotope.